Hello everybody and welcome back to this big old expansion playthrough. We are on to the start of summer now, which is very exciting. I also didn't write down my crop list that I wanted, but I just remembered we're going ham on blueberries and sort of ham on everything else that we need. Anyway, before we get into the video, a little life update. Firstly, uh, I made a return to Twitch streaming this week. I definitely have a preference for doing YouTube videos, so I'm only going to be there a few times a week. But if you want to catch me live playing Stardew on Twitch, Twitch. I have my Twitch account in the description below, so make sure to come over there and say hi. And also over the weekend, I went to the Stardew Valley Festival of Seasons concert. It was just so cool. I think they're on the end leg of the concert now, but if you have seen it, I'd love to know what you thought about it and what your favorite parts of it were. And if you haven't gone, but you can get tickets for one that's near you, I highly recommend going. It is such a cool concert. But with that being said, we got to get into this save for today. So we're on Expandables Farm again. It is day one of summer, year one. We have so much to do today. While we're stuck on the infinite loading screen, um, missions for today, I don't really have too much. I want to check out downtown Zuzu and I want to do a bit more exploring for Ridgeside and then possibly suss out this meadow farm as well. But realistically, day one is going to be so quick and so boring because it's just going to be getting our area set and all of our like crops and stuff ready for the next season but then i think tomorrow in game we will oh I, I forget to do this i keep forgetting about this damn mod okay successfully awake alive ready to go we'll check our living off the land but realistically fortune and everything doesn't matter and they're displeased today doesn't matter i'm just gonna be doing some farming okay but let's quickly do a bit of a tidy up i am going to again this is boring stuff so i'm just gonna shut up <laughs> and pretty much just get this farm ready to go as much as we can. And then we will go and buy all of our crops together and it'll be nice and fun. And yeah, we're just gonna get this farm ready to go for the new season today. Nothing exciting happening here at all. I will see you guys when we go get crops. 12 seconds later. Okay, I need to go and get crops, but I also need to go and get my watering can because that is ready to go. So let's go and do all of that stuff, go and spend all of our money. Is, is that a flower on there? Is that just a texture thing? Oh, that is a flower, a shortcake blossom, cute. There he is, my boy, Sterling. And suddenly all the guys in the valley were shirtless. Chuckle, why, why were they shirtless? Were you shirtless? And it is time okay i remember we were going to i think do i think it was like 40 no 80 blueberries i don't know if i wrote it down anywhere so i needed to do a poppy for the community center and i think i wanted to do spangle seeds just for the extra flowers and stuff just to make it look pretty maybe we do some honey around it corn i also want to do that might be like a 40 thing i need tomato and pepper for the community center bundle and then i want a corn too oh i don't think i've got enough space that's okay so we're gonna do 80 blueberries and then i would love to do 40 melons if i can i also would really like to do god i'm really going ham aren't i let's get wheat 16 and then let's get some corn seeds can i get 40. I can. Very slay. Do a little bit of a chat to everyone and just say hi, give out some gifts, but not too much. We definitely have to go back to our farm now. I think I might have overbought crops, but we'll see. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to get another, a, a lot of extra areas here. But yes, let's just finish hoeing everything and then we will water everything and plant everything. Okay, everything has been hoed, so I really need to go and rest. I am not gonna check on my chickens today. They've got areas where they can eat food. Let's go and recuperate our energy. Okay, let's just go and, oh, wait, I want a fertilizer, oh gosh. Okay, everything has been placed. It is time to water. It's definitely going to be a bit easier now that we have an upgraded watering can. So, you know what? Let's just... This day is pretty much over. Uh, I will water all of my crops. I will see you guys when everything has been watered. And we will get ready for bed to be ready for the next day. I did it. It's just past 12. I've watered everything. I, I'm very proud of myself, honestly. I'm not going to lie. I'm loving how the areas are looking. 
look. I've got all of the crops that I want. But honestly, I think we've done well with our little farm for summer. Look at how cute this is. Okay, it's past 1 a.m. I, I do need to go to sleep. So let's do it. Let's get ready for the next day. It says that it's going to be raining. So I'm very excited for that. We didn't make a lot of money on day one of summer. That's okay. It is a new day. Let's check to see our fortune because other than doing a bit of downtown Zuzu and Ridgeside in this video, of course, sort of going further into the mines is a big thing for me because I really want to just maximize how much I can do on my farm, but not do at the same time. So I really want to get sprinklers going. So if it's a good fortune day, we will go mining. And I do want to do a big drop off at the community center because I got a lot of stuff to drop off. They're mildly perturbed today. Damn. Okay. And it's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. I s I'm just a little torn because it's raining and stuff. And I really, really, really want to do some mining. Yeah. You know what? How often can we go mining? Like it is an awful day <laughs> per se. And we just don't get to go mining that often. So I'm going to quickly place a couple more of these scarecrow guys just throughout. I really don't want to lose any crops, especially with how many I have planted. I do not want to lose any, but we are going to go and break the rules. I'm going to go mining because I really need to start getting some more ore, especially gold and some iron so that we can really start getting this sprinkler process down. So let's quickly go say hi to our animals. We'll go drop off everything in the community center. You know what? Other mission for today. I want to hit two hearts with someone. This is sad. I don't care who it is that I'm hitting two hearts with. We're hitting two hearts with someone by the end of this video. Okay. Oh, I downloaded an interior mod. This uh, community center looks really nice. Okay, let's go and uh, donate everything that I can. Okay, I have donated everything I can to the community center. We also got a little small magnet ring um, and this one works. So something is broken with that glow ring that I bought. I still don't know what it is. And then I have a couple of things that we can sell throughout the day. We'll just hold on to, I can eat those if I need to. I'm gonna do a little bit of foraging because these moon drops are really good gifts. They also sell for a lot of money. So they're very, very handy, but let's head on over to the mines. Oh, and a grape. You are needed for the community center too, buddy. And a sweet pea. Oh, we're just hitting, hitting everything today. Oh, and I just realized actually with the, um, the landslide that's getting removed tomorrow, that'll unlock Susan means that we can actually go to downtown Zuzu. So yay for that. But lastly, we made it to level 60, which I actually didn't realize we were down this far. So lots of combat, lots of iron ore. And then I think it's about time I upgrade my pickaxe because this is a bit sad. <laughs> Um, but I am going to keep mining. Again, I do like doing a little update every five levels. So I'll see you guys at 65 and hopefully we can make it to some darker levels. That was intense to get that little diamond. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a few levels. Okay, we did our first five levels. We've had some really good luck with these little uh, coal sooty sprite guys. So we're, we're doing pretty well in the coal department, I would say, for a sort of normal level. Uh, but hopefully some more ore. I don't think we're doing very well in the iron ore department. So I will see you guys at the next level. Oh, bro, this is... Can I leave it? Oh, it's just going to sit there. Okay. You know what? We can get rid of the soul essence for now. And I want to try and make it to 75 at least. It's not going to happen. I actually don't really have any food on me. I was not prepared at all for this. So we're actually just going to leave. <laughs> 10 floors is still pretty good. So I'm very pleased with that. And while you're here, mate, you can actually have this as a gift because I'm just so generous. We did, however, as a win from today, get a coffee bean. So I'm very excited for that. And I do have my first diamond, which we'll keep and try and get our crystallarium before we donate it. It's been a long day. Oh my God, I didn't realize the time. Okay, go to sleep. Something blew up in the middle of the night, homies. It was an explosion. Okay, we're on day three, but let's get this day underway. Of course, the spirits are in good humor today. And a storm is approaching tomorrow, actually. So we have thunder and lightning. So we'll definitely go back to the mines tomorrow. Today, I really, really want to get into downtown Zuzu. But let's watch um, Susan's little cutscene. She is so sweet. Hello, I'm Susan, the owner of Emerald Farm up at the railroad. I've been trapped out there alone ever since Jojo caused the rock slide, so I've got a little bit of cabin fever. 
Happy to finally meet you, Kitsu. Happy to meet you too, Susan. Stop by and visit Emerald Farm when you have the time. I definitely will. We'll be going today, technically, and I'm excited to learn more about Susan. She's always someone that I'm like, oh, she's so cool, and then I've never done anything with her. Oh, and we finally have the quest. Not just a quest, but the quest. Kitsu, this is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. You think? I don't know. I wouldn't be telling anyone that I left my underwear at my girlfriend's house, but I don't want anyone to know that she's my girlfriend because I'm the mayor of the town. So I'm just gonna entrust you as the new farmer to just get them back discreetly. Honestly, Mayor Lewis, me and you, we're different. We're a different breed, homie. <laughs> if you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well. So now we have that quest to add to our journey, but overall we're doing pretty well on our journal and quest. So let's do our boring daily routine for the day. I'm gonna go water all of my crops and then we'll go take care of the animals. And then let's head over to downtown Zuzu. I'm so excited. I also wouldn't mind checking out a couple more of the hidden foraging locations. I found a few more, so I'd love to share them with you guys. Just so we can get a uh, bit of money because it's looking a bit sad and I don't want to have to wait for so long just for some money. But I will see you when all of my boring farm chores are done. Okay, all of the boring stuff is done. I went and replenished my energy and found a couple of things for the community center. There's some fruit dropped off, so let's pop them in here. And I've already got a spice berry, so we can sell these for a little bit of money. I have no idea what to expect when going to downtown Zuzu, so I, I'm just gonna keep it minimal. We'll just take these. I wanna see if I can finally wear this glow ring. Still no. Still, no, I'm binning it. It's gone. But I'm feeling like we've got everything. I do, as I said, want to show you guys a few of the areas that I've discovered foraging wise just for that little bit of extra cash. So firstly, let's check out this little spot here. Nice little tree stump. Let me grab these uh, forageables around it though. And it leads you to just this cute little space over here, which I love. Oh, poppy seeds. Thank you. I'll take those. Is that a, that's a blueberry. Hold up. This is like, that's a melon too. This is like my whole community center, hello. And a sunflower. Capitalism really popped off today, fellas. Well, that's a fun little adventure, I'm not gonna lie. So let's go and sell everything. I am, however, going to sell that melon and the blueberry. I will keep the sunflower, but I do have a sunflower seed, so I might just plant the sunflower as well. But also if I've just got the one seed, there's not really a point. But yeah, I'm going to, I'll keep the gold melon just to be safe. No, we'll sell the gold melon. But that was a cute little sort of other foraging location I could show you guys. There's a few more, but they're down in the map and we want to go up to downtown Zuzu. And I don't know if there's like a cutoff time and I really want to make it. So let's head on over. A little bit of foraging, you know, on the way over. Here we go. Choose your destination. Zuzu Forest. You've arrived at Zuzu Forest. Okay. I've never been here before. I'm not going to lie to you. Whoa. Okay. For oh, sale. Can I buy it? Not try me. I'll buy it. I'll move here. Oh. Who's in there? Despite the scary noises, that building does look like it has some potential. You should go back sometime. <gasps> How exciting. Okay, these are just some random sort of characters and NPCs. And that's just a random flower. What does this say? Dilapidated train carriage off the track. It's covered in graffiti. Okay, there's a lot to cover here. I don't even know if this is actually downtown Zuzu. Let's explore. I, If this is base game, I've never been here before. Well, this is the house here. So let's go see if we can have a look inside. This building's for sale. Do you want to buy it? Okay, we can buy this building for 25 thousand gold i very clearly do not have that but that's interesting that we can actually buy it okay this is very cute there's a lot of um you know characters and stuff here but you can't actually interact with them so there may be just people visiting can i interact with you oh <gasps> someone i can interact with oh <gasps> gwen hi ma'am oh look at her her birthday is full 20th i can't do anything else she doesn't seem to like these but i will still give one to her she came from this way so i'm feeling a little promising about this side oh 
Zuzu City. Jojo sucks. This is all very interesting. Okay, Zuzu City is where we're going to. Oh, there's the buses and cars. I'm on the road. What if I got hit by a car? Like, I wonder if you can. What happens? Oh, you can actually get hit by a car, okay? I real just, you know, went for it. <laughs> and there's a little Joja shop here as well. Uh, at the front, homie, it says 24 hours, so... Oh, and you can wait for the bus here? Oh, <gasps> no! <laughs> well, that's not what I wanted. I was still exploring. I thought it would give me an option and I can't get back. Ah, oh, okay. No, I'm committed to this. We're going back. I did spend another 500 gold. It's fine. But let's take to try and get to Zuzu City. And also let's uh, not get hit by a car again this time. And don't click the bus stop. Okay. Ooh, Joja Mini. Okay. Is that a Moogle over there? They don't sell Koopa nuts here, Koopa. Why is there a Moogle here? I don't know why, but I just don't feel like I'm in the right spot. Geo's Pizza. Oh, cool. Pizza and pasta. Pizza is all closed up for the day. Never mind. I'm too late for pizza and pasta. I feel like 11 p.m. is not too late for pizza. Oh, thank you very much. And then what is this? Zuzu Apartments. There are a lot of people here that I can't speak to cheap oh you can buy an apartment apartment I thought this was a hotel room not an apartment I can't lie oh that's cool so I can buy a house down here or I could buy an apartment as well I definitely wouldn't mind trying to buy both but come on there's got to be uh, more to this oh I'm about to get hit by a car Yep, that's fine. Okay. That's a postal van. That car is speeding. Someone else we can talk to. This is Sadie. How goes it? Kiss anything interesting happened today? Um, I got very lost here. I'm not even going to lie to you. Joja Corp. Joja head office. Can I help you? You don't look very important. So I don't know. <gasps> Bro, I'm as important as little get you don't look very important you don't look very important either and we've got zuzu underground here can i get in i can get in haha <laughs> skipped the line what do we got oh this looks a bit boring is that sandy i have zuzu underground club sometimes when the shop isn't very busy that is sandy that's so cool it's sad that we can't talk to her but that's pretty cool okay i definitely don't explore as much as i would like to but this is very cool. It's getting late. Why don't you go home now? Well, you're still open, so no. I'd love to see if there's anyone else here I can talk to, but it doesn't look like it. And where's the music? I want to get down and D on the dance floor. I'm going to pass out on the dance floor, if anything. Oons, 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 oons. That was definitely a very fun adventure. Um, of course, only I would waste $1,000 by accidentally going back home. That's just who I am, apparently. But that was a really fun area. There's definitely more to downtown Zuzu. I also hope that that is actually downtown Zuzu. I didn't realize it would take me to a place called Zuzu Forest. So that's interesting. We've got some living off the land. So Dorado, Rainbow Trout, and Pufferfish. Um, I'm pretty sure I actually need all of those for the community center, but it's the start of the season and I'm not too focused on fishing just yet. We all know when my head's out, I want to try and maximize my like efficiency throughout the day. So we'll definitely be hitting up the mines. Just hopefully it's a good luck day. They're feeling neutral. That's fine. And tomorrow is going to be another clear and sunny day. So we all know I don't really need to do any crop stuff. We will go quickly take care of our animals, clear up our inventory and head to the mines. But we do have a letter from Jojo Corp. So the Georgia sub team 55B of the Zuzu City District were on the nightly patrol of the city when you were spotted unconscious by the road. You're lucky they found you. You have been charged a fee for this service. Okay, but how much? They didn't say how much. You're meant to tell me how much you're charging me, homie. Let me go take care of my animals and then we'll head on out. I got a, so many eggs here. I really got to start getting a mayo thing down. I think I actually can get one. Yeah, I get two. I think they just need earth crystals. Wait, let's let's do this wood stone earth crystal copper bar i can do this i haven't yet figured out like a proper layout i definitely want to focus on that maybe in the next episode or at least once i have got all of my sprinklers down packed but let's get this so what stone wood 
copper bars, earth crystals. Quickly make one more chest just for this stuff. And we'll make our two little mayo machines. And then I am just going to literally pop it all here. Oh my god, I have so many eggs. Well, that's that. So uh, let's head on over to the mines. I do definitely enjoy these sort of like grindy days. But I also do enjoy the explorations with you guys. So I think we'll have to try and really halve it tomorrow. Because like there's so much more to downtown Zuzu. I I feel I feel like we've missed so much but also seen so much I definitely want to find the last of the characters I would love to be able to find the last of everyone and also while we're in this spot here there's another little secret foraging area so let's go on a little adventure not a lot here just a couple of little bits and bobs and mugwort it's probably not ideal because I really need space when it comes to mining but I will happily just eat or bin these if necessary yeah there doesn't appear to be too much here so we'll leave it at that. I'm also very pleased with how many rainy days we've been having this uh, episode so far, which is very slay. But without further ado, it's mining time, level 70. I would really like to get to level 80 today. So you know the drill, I am going to go and mine and I will see you guys every, you know, five levels. Okay, first five floors. We're definitely having a lot more luck this time around than we did on the last mining adventure. We've got so much iron ore and we also got a really lucky rock which had a geode, stone, coal, and then also gold ore, which was great. And we found a couple of geodes as well, which is pretty good. Um, and some miscellaneous minerals and stuff. But let's keep progressing. I'd love to level up in mining or in combat today, which would be really great. So I'm gonna keep uh, killing some dudes. We made it to level 80. I'm I'm so proud of myself. We're gonna put on our brand new booties and I do kind of want to mine a little bit of gold or if I can, but I do know I really need to upgrade my sort of weapons and stuff before I go even further in here. So let's really try and get some gold ore. Not really trying to focus on getting to a level, but I just want to get as much gold ore as I can. <laughs> okay, I'm very much so out of energy. It's pretty late. I really wanted to try and grab a bit more gold or, but it's just not happening. And that's okay. Honestly, this is a really great hole. We got a uh, void essence. We've got a couple of minerals and artifacts. We found another diamond. We hit level 80. A couple of geodes and some, uh, yeah, lots of uh, iron ore. We did very well in the iron ore department. But yeah, that backpack upgrade is deeming very necessary at the moment. So let's quickly, hopefully make it home just in time to even sell our stuff. I don't care if I pass out on the floor. If I can do a little bit of clearing up in my inventory, that would be absolutely fantastic and with it being friday tomorrow i think it will definitely be some downtown zuzu exploring i also would love to go and see ridgeside a little bit just to make sure that i said hello to everyone do a bit of gift giving and then hit up the star drop saloon i definitely don't even make it very close to my house that is fine <laughs> It's the thought that counts. You know, we tried to make it that far. We did hit level five mining though, so we do get to pick our profession. Uh, if you know me, I'm a big like ore person, so I'm definitely gonna stick with miner just because geologist doesn't sort of benefit me personally in a way, but I'm gonna stick with miner. And we also leveled up on combat as well. We did both of them. I said I wanted one and I got both. We are on to day five of summer. I was also just having a little brain think and I normally wanted to keep the episodes around five days but I think it's going to vary between five and six just so we can sort of keep each season within around five episodes and aren't really dragging it out I think I ended up doing seven for spring there were a lot of cut scenes as well in that but just so we can try and jam pack as much content in one episode so as we already know today we're going to go head over to downtown Zuzu we'll head over to Ridgeside as well the spirits are annoyed with us today which works out in my favor at least and it's going to be a nice clear and sunny day tomorrow our first thing of wheat is ready as well so so we'll need to go buy some more wheat seeds. Uh, and we've got a letter. Be sure to stay hydrated from Mia. I absolutely love Mia. I'm very upset that she is a non romance Well, not even just that. She's a non-gifting NPC. Like, I can't even just gift her anything. It's really upsetting. Ooh, last night, a Jojo team member found you incapacitated. A medical team was dispatched to bring you home safely. We're glad you're okay. We've billed you 172 gold for this service. Look, at least it's not 1,000 from Harvey. I guess Yes, it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna do all of my boring chores. That one looks like it is damaged. I 
gonna go do all of my boring chores and then we'll go and get some wheat seeds and you head on for our adventures at downtown Zuzu and Ridgeside. Oh my gosh, I just realized the time is this gonna be, this is gonna be a constant thing for all of my crops. That's okay, as I said, I'm gonna do six days just because I feel like the first few days would have been really short and quiet. So maybe we'll just do Ridgeside. We haven't done Ridgeside in a while. We do also have another huge round of stuff to sort of donate. Kind of regretting getting this many crops, but the just think of the profits. Anyway, I've watered where our new crops are going. So let's at least go and get those seeds. Ooh. Oh, the great battle. I guarantee there is nothing to be worried about, Mayor. But there is Morris. Robin's house was struck by several rocks when the landslide was cleared. Susan was shocked by the blast. She wasn't informed of the operation until... Everything is under control. Wait, why did the Morris portrait change? What's going on here? Why did I get cute Morris one moment and then this the next? <laughs> and what of the garbage Joja dumps into the river, Morris? Willie, our local fisherman, says he's catching Joja CDs and cola cans. Might I remind you pursuant to in Might I remind you pursuant to Anish R27.01? I've probably pronounced that completely wrong. Georgia Co Amendment. Georgia's operations here in Stardew Valley are fully compliant with the law. Hi, I'm just passing through. Ah, uh, hello, Kitsu. I was just on my way. Good day, Morris. Mm, tension in the valley. Jojo is paving a way to greatness in Stardew Valley. It's only a matter of time until we were all united under Jojo. Whatever you say, homie. Sterling's here. Thank God it's Friday. Well, um, your cousin, sister, I think that they're, they're related somehow. I just can't remember how. She said that she made these for you all the time. So I'm just going to give this to you. And have we hit two hearts yet? Not two hearts yet, but we have, we're sort of getting to the maxing it out, I feel. Okay, we just need 16 more wheat suits. But I'm just going to grab some more moon drops so we can do a little bit more gift giving. Let me just quickly plant these just in case we do sort of fall asleep in Ridgeside. I would much rather do that and sort of stress about having to come back. But we will go to Ridgeside. I haven't been there in a while. It's about time that we finish saying hello to a few of the people because there are still a couple of characters that I have missed. So it would be nice to like fully say hi to everyone in Ridgeside. Here we are again. Love our cheeky Ridgeside village. I definitely want to explore this more. I wouldn't mind doing Ridgeside just with no other expansion mods like on my own. Why is a train passing through Stardew Valley as I've left? It's not happening. Okay, but let's just go around the valley. Valley. Um, I would love to trigger a few more cutscenes and overall just yeah try and say hi to everyone in Ridgeside because there's still so many people I've yet to say hi to. Oh there's actually something behind here. Wait a second. What are you? There's a faded text engraved in the tomb. The words can barely be read. Interesting. What is this? Stargazing guide for cookie. The stars are most visible after 11 p.m. on a clear night. Don't stray too far from the house okay. Hey who's cookie? Have I met cookie yet? I don't think I have. It looks like one of the structures on your farm truly a mystery as to what it might have once been i'm hoping that interacting with that might trigger a cutscene for it we've got maddie please don't follow me you give me a whoa maddie girl have it <laughs> oh is that i love this i mean thanks you're gonna stop being such an asshole now bro what was that is bert wait bert is caroline's cousin oh cool for a Friday, there's not a lot of people here. And here's the help board. Bring me some wine, I need to de-stress. I can't promise I won't finish it all in one bottle. Is there a time on that one though? Oh my God, amazing. There's no time limit on these quests. Cause absolutely I'll bring you wine. I just don't have that right now. <laughs> okay, it seems that everyone's leaving. Maybe everyone's going back to the valley or at least back to their respective homes. So I think we'll head back to the valley. See if we can quickly get in it to the star drop saloon just to do a little bit of gift giving before we finish off for the night 
So we did do well with some gifts uh, overall. So it'll be cool to see if we can get some more hearts. Again, I want to try and get through hearts with someone this episode. I don't care who, just somebody. Let's go to sleep, head into our last day. And I really hope next episode we can get more cutscenes. That is such a big goal for me. I do want to learn more about all of these characters and stuff. But let's see what the day has in store for us as our last day. The spirits are in good humor today. So I definitely think it might be a bit of a mining day, which will be nice. And we've also got our first peppers to harvest. So very exciting. I do just want to get some more gold ore because the more gold ore that we get, the more gold bars we can make, the more sprinklers, and it'll just be so convenient. I'm going to go quickly water my crops and do that boring stuff as always. And I will think about how we want to progress today actually and i'll catch you guys once i've finished all of this stuff okay i finished up watering my crops and i think we're gonna take a very different approach to today than i had originally planned so again i've got a ton of things that i can donate to the community center and to various bundles so we're gonna go and do that and then we're going to go and open all of our geodes and i think it is time i get my pickaxe upgraded before hitting the mines again we're just gonna have to wait wait a little bit longer to get some more sprinklers but there is another way to get sprinklers with expanded we can go and buy some so i definitely want to make this a little bit of a money making day let's get all of these geodes as well as these artifacts as i'm not sure like what i have donated uh, and then lastly we're gonna touch up the farm it's at that point where we're just about to finish the first week of summer and our farm looks like garbage. I'm not gonna lie, it looks really bad. I also just realized I need copper bars to upgrade my pickaxe. It's gonna quickly head back, why am I so slow? So let's process our geodes first. I don't know if I'm gonna have inventory space for this as well. We'll see. 12 seconds later. Okay, I don't have enough space. Let's go and donate everything that we can. And then back to crack open our geodes and then donate the rest of it and then go back and sell the rest of it. It's very stressful. Okay, well, we got a couple of new things as well here. Let me just say hello. Um, and then I've already done a topaz in the community center and he likes them. So we'll give one to Clint. Still haven't hit two hearts with any of the characters yet, but that's okay. Okay, well, we've got pretty much like two full areas done but let's get all of our rewards we got some melon seeds and star fruit seeds and then some other little bits and bobs but let's head back home and get everything for the community center and some gifting stuff and just uh, do a bit of gifting as we go. We've got Willy here. I'm going to quickly see what from my inventory I can actually gift out and that people want. Because, of course, it's always great when we can just double whammy it. This is Jacob. He had the little cutscene with the cat last episode, which was really, really cute. I know Shane doesn't like me, but look, I'm nice, Shane. Have one of those because I love you and your story. Everyone does like these, so let's gift these out and just at least talk with everyone. It seems to just be like a universally okay gift. I hope. That's such a stu- Oh, Haley's an asshole. I'm kidding. We love you, Haley. Except that she said my gift was stupid. We did, however, finally hit two hearts with someone. Why is it always Leah? I think it's just because I've romanced her so many times that I know what she likes and everything about her. So we did get some more melon seeds and we did get a star fruit, which takes 13 days in the summer. So I do think I'm going to plant this next to my little sunflower, my, my star fruit and sunflower. Okay, let's grab everything that I know that we can take um i know we need a little bit more wheat and apples and hardwood but let's take everything else go and donate our little hole to the community center and yeah i'm pretty sure i did a bunch of gifting for everyone but we'll take our moon drops anyway and see if we can do a bit more all right commence community center drop off part two Okay, we finished two bundles. So we did our summer foraging and then one of the blacksmith bundles. So we got a furnace and some summer seeds. I literally just need a fire quartz now and we can get the mine cards going, which is very convenient and much so needed. 
I really wanted to decorate this video, but we just had a lot of catch up and a lot of running around town to do. But our pickaxe is in and we're slowly getting a little bit more ready. Oh, I got another book. Okay, it's 1 a.m. I really should go to bed. Oh, I'm not going to make it to my bed again. I need coffee or something in this game. Stat, I am slow. Oh, we're going to be pushing it. Come on. Oh, just as I got into my house. Give me a little bit more time. We did make a bit of money and not as much as I would want to, but you know the drill. We're going to leave this one here. If this is your first time watching the series, make sure to visit the playlist at the end of this video and go and watch all of them. We are on Sunday, last day of the week. Any spoilers I can give you guys? Uh, no crops ready to go, so no big spoilers for the next episode. We'll definitely be doing a lot more community center stuff and a lot more gifting. We did hit my goal of two hearts with one villager and we're hitting a lot of just like singular hearts with a lot of people so we're definitely making some progress there goals for the next video i think it's about time i spend a day and organize and decorate my farm a little bit also hoping that we can get a barn down would be very helpful i know i'm not like pressed on trying to get my community center done or any of these goals done in a particular time but i would like to get them done as soon as possible so that we can focus like after year two on some later game things so i'd love to get a coop up upgrade as well not next episode though that's that's just too much but anyway versus if you guys are enjoying this series please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified for the next one that comes out <laughs> anyway besties on that note i am going to run away and go into editing purgatory <laughs> i will catch you all on the next one bye everybody